welcome we're out on the driveway we're working on another rv project look what we've got replacement locks now here's the thing we got a lock that's froze up we're going to get some stuff we're going to try to free it up we're guessing we can't free it up looks very corroded so we're going to go through the process how do you replace your bin locks you buy these online i got four of them so like 23 dollars they're all key to like i got lots of keys well you're going to ask why do i need to buy so many when i only need to do one door well, I can either do them all or I can put multiple locks on certain doors because some of the doors you put valuable stuff in there if it's got two that are far apart you can open the one that's not locked and pry it and then you bend the lid and get at whatever's in there if they're both locked then there's nothing to pull on and it's much harder to break in so don't forget like and subscribe and let's see if we can free this thing up all right we got PB blaster uh, we can push this into the lock all right now we got the keys. We know it's the gray key. And you can see we can't even get the key in all the way. There's a possibility there's a key broke off in there too. Well, we sprayed a little of that in there. We can open this up too. This way, spray the, we'll spray the back side. All right, just in case we gotta take it apart. So now we got that soaking. Yeah, it doesn't appear I can get this to go in. So we've got this. Looks like we got to go get ourselves a big Phillips screwdriver and uh, try to get that off. And we can see if we can put one of our new locks in. Hard part screwdriver trying to get rusty bolt loose I put a wrench on here to try to turn this Oh, it's stripped out that quick it's stripped out so I have to figure out how to get this thing out of here uh, maybe we can bend this maybe we can cut it but uh, let's figure out what we're gonna do we can get a, a big blade screwdriver and try going across it so we'll try that first uh, but it's very rusted up we can get a blade screwdriver that fits in there that one does. Well, looks like it's broke loose inside. Doesn't look like we're doesn't look like we're gonna get it loose that way. Uh, doesn't look like we can take this apart. Uh, too easy. So, what we can do is try putting a wrench on here, locking this. Going back with a screwdriver here. Try holding this and turning it. And that's stripping that right out. Get another vice grip, put it on here, see if we can get it. Oh, hard to get in there. It's turning, but we don't know where it's turning at. Oh, 
All right, well, we sheared off, so we're we're in Glock, because we can get it off now, anyhow. I don't know if we got the right wrench here. Oh, it looks like I brought the right wrench. And it's got a problem there, because the whole thing wants to turn again. Now we have to turn it and put the vice grips on the other side to get this loose. that up. I'm going to try pulling this again loose. All right, so, got the old lock out. Oh, we got a hole in here. Hole oh, used to have some nice flats, but we kind of lost some of those. Now we got to match up some parts. You have to take this one apart. Comes apart, carpet apart real easy. Came with this on there. Not the one we want. So we can match up the old one with a new one. All right. The old one has a taper to it. And we like that. So what we can do if the hole size is the same is use it over. So we can put this on here. A little bit of play. A little less play, but. Uh, we could try we could try using the new one or the old one I'm gonna try to use the old one only because of the way it lat latches up so You can see we got the outside and the inside this has a uh, had a gasket and a washer So we can get the washer and gasket off the old one here All right, so we were able to get the washer off so we can put the washer on and we can put the rubber washer on, all right? That'll allow us to put this through and have a very factory look on that side. Now, on the back side, it also had a washer, so we put that back on. Flip this up, put the washer on, put the nut on. And try to get this started straight. Starts straight like that, goes real easy. What we got to do is tighten this. Okay, it's tight pretty easy. Uh, you got two nuts like I've got now. You put a second nut on here as a jam nut. Kind of give that a little tweak. Now we got the two nuts and the key slot, slot and everything uh, is uh, in there. So there you go. The key works, comes out. Now we got to get the blade on there. The thing is, when this is down, I want to get this hose out cord out okay when this is down you got to make sure you've got the right step and it looks like we're going to use this one with the offset 
because if I go close this and I put this on, I feel that that's right where it needs to be. So we're going to use the one with this, this offset. I'm going to flip it up, put it on here like this. up snug for now. I can make it real tight. Turn it so it's out of the way. Bring it down here. You put your finger behind there and feel it. Hey look, it's locked. It's latched. So let's go tighten it up permanent. To tighten this up permanent, a couple ways you can do it. One easy way is to use your uh, vice grips on this part here. I'll hold it from spinning and put your screwdriver in here. And just tighten that up. Release this. We're all good. Bring this down, close it, key out, it's latched. Latch the other side. Oh. And then it latched. <laughs> there we go. We got extra keys, we put them on our key rings. So here's another thing we did. We replaced this lock, so it's the same as the one up front, and we replaced this lock, so the same key opens both. But why did we take and put two locks? Well, let's see. The nice thing is, I can get them both in. Same key, open the door. If I have anything valuable stored in here right now, I just got canvas tents, little inflatable boats, some cheap stuff. But if you ever put anything expensive in there, you got two keys, two locks. Before you didn't have this, you could unlatch the top and bend the bend the lid over. So now it's it's more secure this way and harder to break into. There you go, easy bin lock replacement. Getting the old ones out could be difficult. If you gotta cut this piece off or grind the head of the screw off and pull this out, then hold it with the vice grips on the outside and push it through. But we got a piece of cake now. The keys go in easy and we're all set here. Keys in easy and it turns easy. Don't forget like and subscribe, post notifications on. Catch you in the next video.